No, there we go. Um, hello, welcome to Vic Week MLP Relog. Uh, today we have the Breakout Breakdown, written by all this guy here, Nick Confalone. Oh boy, he. What's my last one he wrote? Curious. Actually, I'm actually looking that up all. <laughs> you know, hey, Vic's gonna get Harkin Hoop Day episode. Harkin Hoop Day episode in May. Valentine's Day in May. That is a good new one. Anyway, um. um wait. Wait. Before I look up, I get to the plot because I'm. Come on. Come on. What the hell? Come on. <laughs> okay, wait. Well, that's. You know, that thing waiting to be. Uh, to be. Let me go. In a car group day of Gordon Kinder. The main plot is that. You know, Big Mac. Big Key over here, over here, Sugar Bell. And based on her war joint, he believed that, um. Oh, the couple had the a lot of couple familiar with me and go. I can never one boy the romance so um, what. Um and go she over he over she can do her work to and keep believe that she's going to break up with him. And that was a summary really for this one and I went so oh, no going Yeah, I really strongly dislike both kind of story. Yeah, misunderstanding story in general. Where half the cup come on over here coming, make her understand it. And I'm um, actually jumped to the conclusion that they're gonna actually go to some acting. It's not the case, or think rationally. And it annoys me back in the show. And the execution was not too much better than what I was expecting. <laughs> because it does do that thing where it's like, do a war choice, I can more than it, but it can't go painfully clear to us that she's talking about something else. <laughs> and then if he he's ready for a minute, he would also figure it out. So it's, it's pretty annoying, especially can you know, after work you get all wallowing and scared. <laughs> and then at one point, bike if you're hiking on things could possibly be, and one of them makes you go out and see the right thing, and he goes, nah, that's not it, and that makes even more annoying. Like, that's the joke, I guess, but it's still annoying. And this is more, a more hyper comedic show, but I thought we could get away with that, but not so much here. And this does, you know, kind of predictable plot they would do earlier in the series, but go get for kids, go, so okay, we kind of predictable. But now that show can both kids again, they don't get mind, it's like weird that they go for this predictable story. It's not terribly done, it's not, you know. What makes it okay is that the rest of it's fine. Uh, Discord can look up a code, I didn't expect that. Uh, it's whenever Spike, Big Mac, and Discord up a code, much like, uh, there's a Discord episode which they referenced a few times. He still likes playing that game. And Discord was really good in this one. Yeah, but he had a whole thing where you can like hurt from Jake, so he doesn't believe in love. And there's even a bit where they reference, you know, for saying, hey, you go over to her for tea because you like the tea. I'm <laughs> like, goodbye, goodbye. So. And um, Discord doesn't have a tradition into learning about love, but it's still funny the way he. Way he wrote the weapon. And Gunko got plot where they could do a mid-cap, got thing Big Mac, put to get Sugar Walk, get the about dead, and do to, you know, go mid-cap, she think is a kicker minor for her, which is likely to a Mugen got plot. That kind of current plot I kind of like, you know, Mugen. And they've got their complaint up there, she walk around along with a guy, and pull any bill to me, who would they gonna ask him with? You can't even pass her because she don't get to Nicholas Dale and she got to Yeah, you don't. You okay, know. Uh, I should have been. <laughs> um, you know, most of the episode work and kept for the main story because it's not being cliche, I'm actually a bad thing, but because it's got annoying misunderstanding where we know what's going to happen and it's been done a million times in a lot of shows, especially the type I want, it's pretty annoying and you pretty much more like know exactly what's going to happen. I mean, yeah, I can okay more about drawing conclusions, but I feel like that's something maybe you should have done before. Or very at least they could have done it in a different way. <laughs> you know, um, it kind of makes the bag up, but it's entertaining enough, it got some good jokes, but I like some of looking at it. And, but I can tell me it's really unpredictable, and it just kind of thing you keep so many times, and it kind of how the show did it. But, it got some entertainment value. I feel like, then I feel like you know, if you I can think of people being able to forgive the cliche main plot and enjoy it. For me it's decent, I guess it's enjoyable. It's, it's not like last week when I'm like I just didn't like it. This one it 
entertaining enough, and it got gone well, but it got gone cliche, and go annoying, that it didn't do much for me in that regard. So, yeah. I mean, God, again, if it would be better, I might be willing to forgive it, but... Yeah, and how could they may, that's weird. But I guess it will show you from schedule if they had no choice. So, yeah. Back on to give it up one. Mildly entertaining, and there's some cool things, like the Gordon Spike, um... But, uh, it's a good line, but the main story is just something I just couldn't get behind, unfortunately. We kind of confident go definitely when we were one. Kaki had a particularly weak one. Like he about uh, well, party pooped, uh, heartbreaker got really like we'll go. I think I found fine. The cow review was really good. Dungeon in the Ford, uh, that's another pretty good one, so yeah. I got fresh up boom solid. Uh then I bought a couple and then and of course there was a little patch out of the gun but it was a little more show and more awkward. So oh, yeah, this is we can definitely go. Oh well. But it's completely entertaining, so I can you know, go next week is Multi Down. Go so that sounds pretty cool. Um go watch the event. Hopefully it's more interesting of a story than we have this week. Anyway, goodbye.